Welcome to the Business and Personal Podcast. It's the podcast that we bring you closer to the people that you're spending your hard-earned dollars with. And we're joined by a really hard-working person here as our first guest, Denise Crum from Kick It Out Dance Studio in East Lansing. Denise, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank you, Ryan. Well, hey, thanks so much for being my first guest. And uh, kind of feels like things are coming full circle. I worked with you guys about eight years ago when you opened up your first studio and uh, watched as you moved into a bigger studio to accommodate all your students. And here we are meeting again and going through some challenging times where you almost feel like you're starting over a little bit in some ways again. And, and uh, I'm sure brighter days are ahead for you. But before we get into all that, I want you to just kind of tell people about your passion for dance and why you did open up Kick It Out. I have been a recital and competitive dancer almost all of my life. At the age of three, my mom put me in a dance class. It became a love of mine. Our daughter also had a love for dance. Um, she started, we put her in dance at the age of three. I had an extensive coaching career in the Metro Detroit area and here in the Lansing area. And our daughter belonged to a, a couple of dance programs in the area and people encouraged me. They kept saying, you know, instead of coaching, why don't, why don't you just go out and do your own thing? Get a studio going, get it going. And listening to what people needed, what people wanted along the terms of a dance studio. And that's how Kick It Out Dance Studio came to be. Fantastic. So tell me about COVID, how this year has been, and uh, you know, you're still kicking. Um, you're going you're gonna to make it through this, but just tell me what your plan is to evolve and moving forward here. Well, the current plan that we have right now, of course, is staying in accordance with the CDC and the state of Michigan guidelines for our health and safety protocol. We have a disinfectant fogger that we fog our studio every night at the end of classes. We have steam mops that we steam mop our floors with, hand sanitizer, weekly check-ins for our patrons and our staff. And uh, they sign in when they come into the studio as well and when they come in and when they go out. So, you know, keeping on top of those protocols, number one, and number two, just being there for people that need us for dance classes. And we're hoping that, um, you know, us being back open again, that we'll be able to service those people that see us as essential to their life. What are you hearing out there? What are the reactions of people? Are they nervous about going back to in-person instruction or are they just chomping at the bit and just ready to do it now? Well, right now at this point with our studio, we only have a small portion of people that are doing virtual. The majority of the people that are coming in to our business are asking us for on-site instruction. And this is through all of our age groups, two and a half up and through adult. And same with our fitness classes. These people are coming in and they are asking for the on-site instruction. I'm quite surprised by that. I'm quite surprised by that, but very, um, very hopeful that that trend is going to continue. We do offer the virtual classes, but nothing takes the place of an on-site class. It really, you know, it's, it's good. It's great. But the on-site class and in person, they're just wonderful. What about from an employee standpoint, uh, were you able to keep most of your instructors on throughout this? How many instructors do you have going into the season here? Currently, currently at this time, I have eight dance instructors, including myself, and then I have five fitness instructors. Um, we did have a little bit of a switch over on our dance side, and I do have some new staff and some new faces on my team that are ready to go. So exactly what do you offer? What are some of the specific instructions that are available for people this year? Currently for dance classes, we have recreational classes and competitive team classes. We offer ballet, tap, lyrical, contemporary, jazz, hip hop, musical theater, and those um, for the recreational classes, <clears throat> obviously you can make your choice what you <clears throat> what you would want to come in for, for those specific classes. Competitive team, we do evaluations for dancers that are interested in trying out for our competitive team program. And we start that, that out as young as the age of five and go up to the age of 18 with that. For our fitness classes, we do allow all ages for our fitness classes. So if parents have their children that wanna try fitness classes, come on in for those as well. We currently have Zumba and Pound Fitness classes for all ages. We have a burl exercise class that is more geared towards adults. That's also on our schedule. And then we have music and or vocal classes that we have available. And that's for all ages. Fantastic. And, and, and hey, I know there are, there's just so many challenges for any business and with COVID and all the other aspects out there, but also socially. What are your stances on age-appropriate music, costumes, and dance moves? Because I'm sure that's something that's top of mind for parents as well. 
yeah, that's a hot topic right now. And at Kick It Out Dance Studio, I've always been along the lines of keeping it modest for all of my dancers from children through adult. When we pick our costuming and our music, we like to try and pick things that are age appropriate. And I say we, because my staff and I, we sit down and we really collaborate about this together. You know, and I'm a firm believer in that and modesty and it's not just on the stage, it's when you're in the studio as well. We do have a dress code that we adhere to and that is available on our website as well. Now, when you come to a kick it out performance for dance or for music for anything of that sort, you will hear mainstream music. And what I mean by mainstream music is stuff that you hear on the radio, but we can take that and we can edit it. And that's what we do. If um, we have a little, our older dancers that want to dance to something that is current, that is on the radio, we find a clean and or radio edit version. And it works out really well. Um, believe it or not, 90% of our clientele that walks through our door, that's one of the first questions that comes out of their mouth. What are your costumes like? What are your music choices? And is your dance age appropriate? Um, so yeah. I'm very modest. I like to keep it modest and I stand firm with that. And, and I'm sure after getting through all those challenges and answering those questions with parents, you also need to obviously get them comfortable with the instructors because their children are going to be spending several hours a week with strangers. Uh, they need to know that they're going to be the right people that are going to be the right fit for their child. I'm sure you have a pretty good pulse on that for all the instructors you've worked with over the years. But what exactly do you look for in a, an instructor that's not only going to be the right fit for their children, but just the right fit for Kick It Out. Well, first and foremost, their dedication to the art, their dedication to the studio, their dedication to their job, their loyalty, their honesty, and their sincerity. It's pretty much everybody that I have on my staff has dance, is still dancing, or is involved in the dance world in some way, shape, or form. And they absolutely love it. Sleep, eat, breathe, dance. So that dedication to the students, to the studio, the love, the honesty, the sincerity, it's important, it's extremely important. And fitness instructors, that they're motivating. We're all there for the same reason, because we love what we're doing. Absolutely, and it definitely shows with you all the time, every time I talk to you. So you. Um, tell me about the location you have now. So when I first started working with you, I think it was 2012 or 13, something like that, you were in the Hazlitt location. Obviously you grew quickly and moved west a little bit to a location in East Lansing now. Um, tell me about the reason to choose that location. You're still there. How many years have you been there now? Um, we've been in our current location since September of 2014. So this is six years that we've actually been there. And originally when we started out, it was a thousand square foot facility. We're now currently in a 4,500 square foot facility. It just it just made sense for us to stay in that community that we were in. A lot of our clientele comes from not just the Lansing and East Lansing area. We even have some people that come from Holt, Mason, or Spar on the north side of St. John's. Where we're at now even has better access for those people to be able to reach us. So we do get quite um, a bit, an array of people that come from different areas and, you know, as far east as Williamston and as far west as Grand Ledge. So we just love the location that we're at. We love the location. Our neighbors are wonderful and our landlord is fantastic too. So it's a, East Lansing is a great community to be in. It's wonderful. Well, I love what you say where you're the place where everyone has a chance to dance. And I see that every time I go there, you have such a wide variety of people that come to your studio. So Tell me about that a little bit more and how that makes you unique from uh, everybody else, how you're all inclusive. Well, a lot of our dance classes are geared, again, we have a recreational program and we also have a competitive team program. And when you sign up for our recreational program, you can come in, we currently have a situation going where you can come in, you can do a drop-in for our adult classes. And then we also have month to month for our children and adult classes. We also have half season options that are available. And we get a lot of people that have never danced that want to try it. So that's why that drop in for our adults. And that's why sometimes we have these parents that their kids just aren't sure and they're on the fence. And that's why we decided to adapt that month to month too. And then we have some kids that take sports in one half of the season and just can't commit to a full season of dance. And so that's why we were doing the half season options as well. So that way we can reach out to everybody and try to meet everybody's needs. So no long-term commitment needed. You can kind of try it as you go and get comfortable with it and make sure it's the right place for you, right? Yeah. 
So tell me about the year ahead. And uh, I'm sure you probably had to adjust your goals like every business has out there, but uh, what are you hopeful to accomplish this coming year? Well, we are hopeful to accomplish that we can stay open for the people that need us. You know, you think of essential workers, you think of firefighters, you think of police officers, you think of teachers, you think of plumbers, you know, people don't think that the arts are essential, but the arts are very essential to mind and body for some people. So first and foremost, hoping to stay afloat for those people that need us. We've even had people call, are you, are, are you available? Can we come in? Can we come in for a class? I don't want to do that virtual stuff. I just want to be there. And what are your protocols? So, um, you know, just staying afloat and being there for those people that need us because we are essential to a lot of people when it comes to dance, fitness, and even our music program as well. They need it in their life. It's important. And just beyond your students, uh, you're essential to some people in the community. I know you guys are big on community outreach and those sorts of things. So just tell our viewers some of the things that you've done and plan on doing. Well, in the past, what we have done is we have a site on the west side, an assisted living facility on the west side and one on the east side that we have gone and done performances for people that are shut-ins that can't get out and can't get out to do much. And then we've also done a Christmas party and our performance with Haven House in East Lansing. So we really like to do those type of things to bring joy to people, bring a smile to their face and just give back a little bit to people that um, can't get out or don't have the means to be able to get out. And when I say, you know, Christmas party, we literally, our, our competitive team kids literally wrapped gifts and brought them to these kids. And it wasn't just about dance at that moment. It was about reaching out to these people as human beings and just seeing the smiles on their faces are irreplaceable. It really is. Absolutely. Well, hey, it's, it's my sincere hope that we're able to reach some people with this video that are on the fence. They're not sure, maybe they've tried dance before and they're not sure about going back because of COVID or just wanna try dance in general. There are just a lot of uncertainty, right? What would your advice be to those people that are kind of on the fence to get them to give it a shot here? Just give it a try, you'll be surprised. I've had people even come in and just, I've never taken a dance class in my life. I've always wanted to do it. And, and that's mostly with our adults, tap dancing. I don't think I could do that. Just give it a try. We're all there for the same reason, because we love it, because we enjoy it. Some people even just in our recreational program see it as their social outlet. Same with our fitness classes. Our fitness instructors are wonderful in making our clientele feel comfortable. If you're looking for a great way to stay fit and a great way to stay social, then maybe our fitness classes are for you. Maybe not so much dance. And our music program is wonderful as well, too. It, it just depends upon what you want to do. And we're all there for the same reason, because we love it, because we need it, or because we just want it. Absolutely. And you know what? If anybody out there is still on the fence, we have a special instant impact offer that Kick It Out is offering through this podcast, both on the dance side and on the music side. So Denise, tell people a little bit more about the special offers that people can get at instantimpactoffers.com. Sure, Ryan, our instant impact offer for our dance program is you can come in and try one month of dance, 50% off of the regular price. And the same thing with music. You can try the music courses for one month, 50% off the regular prices for our tuition. It's a great way again, to see if it's something something that will suit you, something that will suit your family. And again, that's from ages two and a half all the way through adult. Everybody's welcome. Yeah, so for a very small investment, you can try Kick It Out. Go to instantimpactoffers.com and then take a look at their offers. Reach out to Denise and see what opportunities they have for you there. Denise, it's been so great to reconnect with you. Thanks so much for being my first guest of hopefully many here on the Business and Personal Podcast. I really enjoyed talking with you. I enjoy talk. Very honored to have talked to you and very honored that you chose us and best of everything to you, Ryan. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Denise.